Hey guys, this is Frank. Welcome to RC Foam Fighters. Um, today we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the second round of modifications I've made to the Foam Fighter uh, Sparrow. But um, afterwards we're also going to take a brief look at my other projects that I have going on. Um, so let's go ahead and see what I've done uh, in the second round of modifications. <laughs> Okay guys, as you can see the plane has taken on quite a bit of a different look um, because I did decide to move the motor uh, quite a bit forward. I actually moved it forward by over four inches. Um, the main reason I did this is I really think that that weight that was way out here was just too much for the plane to be able to support without having wing area back there or a second wing. Um, I did get a lot of comments of people saying that the shorter fuselage is probably going to make it more touchy. Um, but what I was saying in the comments is um, most of the planes that have longer fuselages also have a rear wing in the back and the rear wing helps to support the weight back there um, because this plane didn't have a wing in the back and the motor was so far out there um, I'm really thinking that was mainly the problem with the pitchiness of the plane um, think of it as kind of like a pendulum you have all that weight hanging out there and nothing to help support it as far as a wing um, and once you start to uh, add a little bit of movement into the plane that weight just builds momentum and causes the, b the back of the plane to swing down like a pendulum um, it wasn't that the plane was too touchy it was just erratic the way it flew um, it wasn't like it was something that needed to be adjusted as far as throws or anything it was just way way out of control um, so the reason why that was the main reason why I moved the motor forward um, to get that weight off the back out there um, it hasn't really shortened the whole length of the plane. As you can see, the wings actually still go out back the farthest on this plane. Um, so the actual length of the plane hasn't really changed if you count the wings in it. Um, so I'm hoping this is going to help stabilize it because now the weight is more farther forward. Um, it has moved the CG forward a little bit too. Um, because I did that, I did have to put the rear stabilizers out on the wing and I decided to use like a tail boom style uh, rear stabilizers. Um, I inserted two carbon fiber rods into the wing and I've glued the rear stabilizers onto the wing and the carbon fiber um, to get them back far enough so that they're behind the center of gravity on the plane. Um, these are the two modifications that I've made to the plane. I didn't get a chance to take it out this past weekend to fly it. Um, because the weather was bad, we had a little bit of snow, and the temperatures were just way too cold. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to correct the main issues that I've had. Um, the other thing I'm a little bit concerned with is some of you were mentioning where the control surfaces are as far as them being all the way out at the wing tips. Um, I may, before I take it out to fly, try to rebuild this portion of the wing and move them in more towards the center of the wing. Um, that would probably help get rid of the touchiness of the plane. I haven't decided 100% on whether I'm going to do that or not just yet. I may try and fly it first the way it is. Um, this, that pretty much covers all the mods that I did to the plane. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the other projects I got going on now. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get the Sparrow back out to do some test flights this coming weekend if the weather permits. Um, but for now let's go ahead and take a look at what else I've got going on. Okay, one of the other projects I told you guys I was going to be working on is going to be an EDF plane. Um, I finally have my power system and the EDF. I haven't started the plane yet. Um, this is going to be a three and a half inch diameter uh, EDF, which is 89 millimeters. It's a seven blade EDF that I got from Hobby King. Um, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of it. It's nice and sturdy, um, and it's supposedly capable of putting out five pounds of thrust. Um, I have two different power systems I can choose from. Um, the first one is actually something that I had laying around from my RC boat days. Um, I got a E-Flight uh, 6 Series 
36 millimeter in runner motor that came out of my blackjack 26 brushless uh, catamaran boat. Um, I've done some static tests with that motor and this 5 cell 2200 flight max 40C battery and it was pulling right around 1100 watts of power. Um, it's an 1850 kV motor um, so that would probably be putting out somewhere around four pounds of thrust or so. Um, the other option is going to be um, to go with that 1600 watt Turnigy motor that I was talking about originally. It's a 1450 kV motor um, rated at 1600 watts and I was planning on if I run this using it with this 2650 milliamp 40C uh, flight max battery um, which should uh, get it up around that five pounds of thrust that it's rated at. Um, I'm probably going to be building a simpler plane for this. I wanted to try and keep it smaller and light um, because I know EDFs usually um, weight is a concern because they, the thrust is usually not as great as a prop plane so in order to get it to go fast we need to try and make it smaller and more aerodynamic. So I'm planning on building um, probably something like a Eurofighter or a Gripen or something like that but of my own design. Um, that pretty much covers the EDF project. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the other project I have going on. Okay guys, the other project that I have going on, um, as I said in the other last video that I did, um, I'm building a plane to enter in the RC Groups Forum uh, fastest foam plane, uh, the Unlimited class. This is basically a scaled up version of my Skyfighter V2. Um, it's got a 34 inch wingspan and I decided to make it out of 30 millimeter EPP this time. Um, I'm going to be covering it in two layers of Henry's Weave and this is the power system that I plan on running. Um, the challenge states that the power system has to come in under a hundred dollars. So this setup is under a hundred dollars. I think it comes out to about ninety five or ninety seven dollars total for everything. Um, the battery that I'm going to be running is a 2650 Flight Max 40C battery. Um, it's a six cell. Um, I will be running that also with the Hobby King uh, speed controller. It's a 90 amp speed controller with a 100 amp burst rate. Um, I'm also going to be running it with that Turnigy uh, 36 by 48, 36 millimeter by 48 millimeter motor. It's a 1450 kV motor that's rated at 1600 watts of power. Uh, the prop that I'm going to be running is a APC six and a half by six and a half uh, pylon racer prop. Um, I did do some static tests with this setup. Um, in the process of doing that, though, I did some. I made a mistake and I uh, burnt the speed controller. So I'm waiting for a second one to show up. Um, but I did some other static tests with another speed controller that I had, um, one that I can't use in the challenge because it'll put the price over 100. Um, with that other speed controller, I was getting a watt meter reading of over 1,800 watts of power at 85 amps um, so it was pulling pretty good um, I did some uh, calculations with the voltage after getting the voltage drop reading and with the RPMs that I was coming out to um, the prop speed was somewhere around 175 miles an hour um, static tests are usually a little bit lower with these type of props that are high pitch um, I'm expecting it to actually wind up a little bit more once the plane is in the air and has air rushing towards it. Um, it won't be stalling as much as it does when it's in a static test. Um, so I'm hoping to at least break 170 miles an hour with this plane. Um, and like I said, I will be entering this in that speed challenge. Um, so there's more coming on both of these builds along with hopefully some test flights soon of my uh, foam fighter Sparrow. So please stay tuned and uh, Thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters, and I'll see you guys again soon.